Hi guys, how are we doing? If you're new here, my name is Rodian and today I'm going to give you a quick crash course in Flemish Bond. Much like I did with the English Bond, but in Flemish. So without further ado, let's get the trail out, get some bricks laid. Let's get going. Alright, okay, so to start off, I'm going to do much the same as I did in the last video, the last the English Bond video. If you haven't seen that video and you are interested in learning how to do English Bond, then the, the playlist is down in the description, Brick Lane for Beginners. It's all in there. Okay, so we'll start off marking off the square, marking off the square, marking off the corner. Well, I suppose it is a square, so yeah, marking off the square. And then from there, what we're going to do is I'm going to start, like I said, much the same way as in the other one. I'm going to build just a couple of courses in a corner, run a few uh, courses along, a few bricks along, and then we're going to build a pier. So we get sort of the gist of every aspect of Flemish bond that we can. To start with, we are going to put a stretcher along here. Now in the Brick Lane for Beginners playlist, I do talk about sort of terminology, like stretchers, headers, what they are and what they do. So if you are interested in learning a bit more about the terminology, then again, Brick Lane for Beginners is the good place to start. Okay, so we'll start with, I'm gonna be talking about it from this way, so this would be a stretcher. So a stretcher goes in there first. Now what I'll do is I will go uh, I'll go, yeah, I'll go this way first, and then this way a couple, and then from there on up. So, header. Next along, we want a queen closer. Now, a queen closer, as I spoke before, is essentially just half a brick. And that will plonk on there. So, what we're going to do, nice little bit of muck. Oh, Boris is losing his tongue. Didn't last very long. For those of you who don't know, Boris is my boot. Everyone was taking the mickey out of how floppy my sole was on my boot because I'm stubborn and I don't want to buy a new pair of boots yet and I decided to turn him into Boris just to give him a bit of character so that you all want him to stick around so I don't have to buy a new pair of boots anyway so from there queen closer goes in the end now we use queen closers in nine inch brickwork to to make bond because we are not doing what is called a half bond wall it is what it's called a three-quarter bond wall so when we come to putting a brick on top of here I'll explain what that means so now from here if you remember from English bond we would put a header 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 all the way along looking from this way headers there'd be headers all the way along obviously apart from the queen closer but not in this case in Flemish bond what you do is you flip the bricks round alternating so it goes header stretcher header stretcher header stretcher it is my favorite bond Flemish I just love the way it looks. I don't know why. I just I just think it's nice. I think it goes nice with my OCD. I like symmetry and things like that. And I don't know, I just think that having a header on top of a stretch, I don't know, I just think it looks good. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think? What's your favorite bond? If you have a favorite bond or do you really not give a, give a hoot? <laughs> it's just bricks in your eye. So let me know down in the comments. It'll be interesting to hear. Okay, so from there, we'll put another brick on the back here. As I said before, I butter up the brick, not as, as you would do for a four inch wall, but for a nine inch wall, I like to put a little bit of muck on the end there. And I don't put it on this end, I just flick a bit of muck in afterwards. And that has always worked out perfectly for me. And also, when you do Flemish bond, a little bit different than English, obviously apart from the bond itself. But I did speak in the previous video, again down in the description if you haven't um, if you haven't seen it and you would like to have a little look. I like to put a brick on the top for English bond to check to make sure that the bricks are spaced evenly apart. Now with Flemish bond, it's a little bit easier because you're putting a stretcher, uh, a header after every stretcher. It doesn't really matter because each end you're going to marry up to the corners anyway, so you don't have to worry anywhere near as much if at all, to be perfectly honest with you. So what I'll do is I will put one more brick on the back here. Always remember to clean your snots up. So I'll plonk that right there like that. Of course, that's a bit of a bendy old, bendy old brick. Make sure it's nice and level. So that is what your first course of Flemish Bond will look like. I'm gonna build two courses up and then I'm gonna show you sort of from ground view, a lot, um, ground view I don't know what else I was going to say apart from that and and then so you can hopefully get a better idea of how that bond actually looks from sort of eye level so now we're going to come along here we're going to come just a few bricks along 
Now, because we've got a stretcher here, we don't have to put a queen closure here anyway, because with nine inch, nine inch work, you always alternate your queen closures course to course. So there's one here and you're not gonna need one here. It's gonna be over here on the next course up. So from this point, we're just gonna put a header straight in there. I am assuming with the name like Flemish, I'm assuming it was a, it came from um, sort of the Netherlands or, or sort of Dutch or something along those lines. That is from, from what I remember, I have looked it up before, but in all honesty, I can't remember, but I'm, I'm certain it is a, um, it's Dutch. And now from here, this is very simple. You just put another stretcher and then it's a header, then a stretcher, then a header. And basically that is Flemish. Like I say, I really do like it. I don't understand why this isn't as strong as English Bond, because I would have thought that having it alternating, it would be stronger. But I, I really, uh, you could really start opening all sorts of can of worms with that. Like what, what Bond is stronger than what Bond, my Bond stronger than your Bond and all that other malarkey. So let me know down in the comments. What do you all reckon? What, is, what do you reckon is the strongest Bond? Do you agree with me? in the fact that English is the strongest bond? Or do you think there are other stronger bonds? I don't really want to start including something like Quata Bond because that is obviously designed to be extremely strong. If you don't know what Quata Bond is, let me know in the comments. I might make a video about it. The bond that no one ever uses, as I like to call it. I've never used it in my life apart from in college. Quata Bond, I think that's how you say it. It's a funny old word. Quata. Quetta, quetta. Anyway, down in the comments, let me know. Always like hearing you guys' opinion. All right, okay, so from here, we're gonna put one more stretcher in there, just to uh, tie that in nicely, and then we'll go one more course up. How does that sound to you, Boris? Yes, mate, that sounds brilliant. You know, old Boris sticking his nose in. I don't even think he's got a nose. You got a nose? Oh, shouldn't be hitting you on the face. Sorry, mate, apologize. I do feel like my boot looks a bit like Crush from uh, Finding Nemo. Or is that just me? Cool, that brick is massively different. There's like 10 mil difference in that. I'll tell you what, for this video, I am not going to take it out. Oh, and while I was editing the last video, the English Bond video, I noticed that this new microphone I've got, it doesn't pick up those airplanes anywhere near as much as my old microphone did. So do you know what? I think... That is the last time I'm ever going to be shouting at an airplane. Because there is one going overhead right now. I can hear it. But I don't think you guys can hear it. So I think I'm I think breaking my old microphone was uh, was a good thing. This bricklayer is not going to be shouting at the clouds anymore. But he's still going to waffle onto his subs. Subs view. I should say viewers, I don't want to just discriminate against you lot who aren't subbed. I'll tell you what, if you're not subbed and you're watching this, what are you playing at? Get down the bottom, there's a subscribe button. Hit that button and you will be inundated with bricklaying goodness. Oh yeah, ring that bell. If you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a little batch of goodness. So get on it, what are you playing at? Right, that's the first course. Stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, it just goes on. So if you want to build this wall 100 meters long, two meters long, however, this is how you follow it along. So what I'm going to do before I do the next course, I'm just going to show you top down and sort of street level, I guess, of what we're looking at. Right, okay, so here we go. There's the top of that first course. So as you can see, we have a header, queen closer, stretcher, header, and then it would continue header, stretcher, stretcher, header, head. Well, well of course, I said that completely wrong. Header, queen closer, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher. And this way it is stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, header. And again, it will continue on for however long you want it. And remember, queen closer goes in here. Only put it on one, one course. On, um, yeah, one course, one queen closer per course per corner, if that makes sense. So the next time you come up, this queen closer will be along here. And I'll quickly show you down here, but there's not really a great deal to see. You're just going to see that it is header, uh, sorry, stretcher, header, stretcher, header. And obviously on the side with the queen closer, we have got header, queen closer, stretcher, header, and then it'll go stretcher, header, stretcher, header, etc., etc. Okay, so we'll get on with the next course and then we'll go ahead and we'll build a pier. Right, so from here, essentially all we're doing is we are swapping this bond round. So we're gonna go this way this time 
much the same as you would do with any other bond. You obviously want to switch it around, unless you're doing stack bond, which I honestly don't see the point of. I think it's horrible. But, hey ho. So we're going to go along here. Now, with this being a three quarter bond, the reason it's called a three quarter bond is because you are bonding on three quarters of the brick rather than half bond. So if it was half bond, then this brick would be over another quarter. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, I'll show you on a street view in a moment once we built this, um, built this little corner. And do you know what? I probably will quickly give that a quick plumb. I'll tell you what, that is plumb. There we go. So there's your header. Now what we do, we get another queen closer and we are going to plonk that this side this time. And that will give us the correct bond again. Good old queen closers. Very handy, very handy indeed. Without these, nine inch brickwork would have a hell of a lot more straight joints. A hell of a lot more, it would have straight joints. So, just gonna plonk this in. So that goes in there like so. Give it a tap, don't tap it too much, you get water out of it. And then from there, we are going to put a stretcher straight in there. Get that bond going nicely. I find with Flemish bond, it is a lot, a hell of a lot easier to look after the back of the wall. So. I remember, uh, do you remember me saying in English Bond that you have to pay attention again to the sizings where you put the brick on top to, um, to gauge sizings because the back is generally going to look a lot rougher than the front because bricks are different sizes and with these bricks they're a hell of a lot more of a different size. I find with Flemish Bond it is so much easier to get the back side looking a hell of a lot nicer than the front side. That is probably another reason why I do like Flemish Bond a lot nicer than English Bond a lot more. I should say that was bad English on my part. Purely because, I don't know if you can see, but the brick, the, the stretchers in between the headers, you can move in and out to match up with the headers on the back. So on the front, you've got nice straight flush wall, and on the back, you can have it nice and flush as well. But whereas with English bonds, you're governed because every course is headers, every course is stretchers. So that is another reason why I do like Flemish bond a lot more, because you can make it look a lot nicer. When using, um, bricks that let's say off offend me <laughs> yeah these bricks offend me because they're just so different in size so different but I like how they look so that is another reason why I like Flemish bond and just the, the pattern of it I just really like how the pattern looks and there we go put another another stretcher in there on that back side of it when you do this um, you need to plumb up the back as well as the front with Obviously with a normal four inch wall, you wouldn't do that because you can't plumb up both sides. You'd be, you'd be there all bloody day knocking it backwards and forwards if you did want to do that. So you would get behind and plumb up as well. Now, when it comes to running in nine inch brickwork, it is a little bit different than running in four inch brickwork, obviously because you've got more bricks, but how you set your lines up. Setting your lines up for nine inch brickwork, there, there's a little bit more to it than just standard brickwork. So again, if you would like me to do a video on how to set up lines for nine inch brickwork, please do let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to do that. Now we've gone that far. So just imagine that that's our like five meter long wall going along to a pier at the other end. It's only gonna be this short just for demonstration sake. And from here, we are gonna finish off this other side with a, he a header, cool. So I'm frog in my throat then. We'll put a header in here because if I put a stretcher over there, it's going to hang over the end here. Now you can do that to stitch it in afterwards. If for some reason you uh, you don't know what's going on down that um, down that flank, you can do that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to finish it off with another header running along there. So I'll just plonk that in there. Right there we go. There's the header on the end, and like I said, in a minute I'll come down and show you. In fact, no, we're done with that corner. I will, I'll come down and show you that now. Let me just quickly range that through. <coughs> Level it over and range it through. Right, so we're down on our Google Street View. That is it, how it looks with uh, the two courses. 
And uh, so, yeah, as before, header, queen closer, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher. And then from here, it's exactly the same as the bottom course around here. Stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher. Again, one queen closer per course. So on this course, it's on this side. So that's how it would look. And you would just rinse and repeat this bottom section up here. Basically, these two sections here, you just rinse and repeat all the way up your wall, however high you want to go. So as we go around, I'll, talk, I'll show you the top again in a second. And here is the other side. So again, stretcher, header, stretcher, header. And then on the top one, we've got header, queen closer, stretcher, header, stretcher. And this is what I was talking about, the, um, the three quarter, the joints are on three quarters of the brick, as you can see there. So there's no straight, there's no joints going directly in the middle of the, uh, of the bond, half bond, so you wouldn't half bond. It, it's not bonding half the brick, it's bonding a quarter of the brick. Three quarters, a quarter, depending on which way you look at it. I've always been taught that it was uh, three quarter brickwork. And then going on to the top, again, it's just header, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, obviously with a clean queen closer in from the header. And uh, that's that's the top bonds there. All right, okay, so what we'll do now is I will set out for a pier here and then uh, we'll go from there. Well, okay, now to get this pier going, again, we are gonna be wanting to stitch this pier into the brick wall that you have already built. So imagine this wall goes on for however long you want it to go on. Now, the best way I'd have come to do it. Now these nine inch piers, they're always absolutely massive, I find. So if you do want to stitch in like a normal half bond pier into this wall, like if you're building a garden wall or whatever, then do it because the piers would be a lot smaller. So it, it all depends what you're going for. So what I like to do is put in a queen closer. Now you can do this with a, a brick, like cut down a three quarter because you're not going to see this bit but it's up to you completely. So from there, I'll put a queen closer as if you were gonna come up to finish the end of the wall and then put a header on the end. Yeah, pop that header in the end of your wall. This is where it gets a little bit confusing. Unlike the English bond wall, Flemish bonds, uh, English bond pier, sorry, Flemish bond pier are a little bit more tricky. So, well, I've always found them a little bit tricky anyway. Obviously some people probably don't. From here, now I have to think about this one. From here, we put, all right, yeah, that's it. We put a queen closer. We put a queen closer in and then a full brick. And then from there, I'm just gonna set this out dry just to make sure I've got it right. And then we put a full brick and then we put another uh, stretcher. Yeah, that's right. Okay, gotcha. And then from there, we go along with a stretcher header, stretcher header. Yeah, okay, right. So I'll plop these uh, few in just to start with. So you are kind of mirroring what you have along the wall, much the same as English Bond, like header, stretcher, header, stretcher. So you're doing stretcher, header, stretcher, and then exactly the same on the other side. But looking from this side, you've got header, queen closer, stretcher, queen closer, header. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'll just move these bricks out of the way and I'll start plonking these in. I'll probably build the first course um, just straight up, unless I've got something that I need to say. Um, I will come back to you in a minute or, well, do you know what? I'll, I'll let it roll and It's always good if you're not 100% sure how the bond goes, it's always good to lay it out dry first, just so that you don't start laying it and you end up halfway around, you're like, oh bloody hell, I've got to do that again. There's no harm in dry laying before you, uh, before you lay it. It will probably save you time in the long run if you're a little unsure. Doesn't make you any less of a bricklayer. I do it all the time. That whole saying of measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, lay once. You don't want to be taking your brickwork down. No way, Jose Mourinho. And then you put a half bat in the middle. I'm going to put one of these cuts in the middle from that blooming circular pier I built. Oh, if you haven't seen my circular pier, down in the description, have a look on the playlists. There'll be videos aplenty, so. And check out, I've got like 120 odd 
videos on my channel. So if you like bricklaying and you like building houses, I've got loads of videos for you to watch. So crack on, plenty to look through. That's the bottom course of your pier. So I'll lift you up over to the top and have a little show, show you how it looks. Okay, so there's the top of the pier. We stitched it in from here. We have a header, a queen closer, and then a header. And then, so that was the end of the wall. Obviously that dodgy, that should be a, uh, a snapped header. And then you got your Flemish bond across here, stretcher, header, stretcher, much the same on this side. And over here we have header, queen closer, stretcher, queen closer, header. It's quite awkward, but I'll show you, I'll show you the down low, the down low um, view. Obviously I'm gonna put another course on there, but stretcher, header, stretcher. Now you can, you see what I've done here, I've three quartered it. Now this looks like a queen closer here. Now you can, if you want, move that along so that that brick, this brick here comes in line with the end there. So it looks like it's going stretcher, header, and then moves over here to stretcher, header, stretcher. I like doing it like that just because it looks like there's a three quarter in there, but it is completely at your discretion because in that case then, you could put whatever brick, because you're not going to see the bricks in here, you can put whatever you want in there. So have it how you like. That's the pier. Now we'll put the second course on and I'll show you how it gets stitched in. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting some stretchers along here first. Like so. Now, from here, so that's how that's going to look. From there, that's going to stitch that in over that over that uh, queen closer that we put in the bottom, so that'll be nicely stitched in. Now on this section here, it's gonna be another header because we don't have, that's gonna go in like so. And I'll show you how it looks at the end. It is a little bit, no, it's personal preference really. It's gonna be, have two headers on the end. So you could probably, you can sort of alternate the, um, the way you stitch this in. But this is the way I've always done it and this is the way that I like doing it. So if you have a different way of doing it, then again, please do let me know down in the comments. I've known over the years there are multiple ways of doing this, but this is the way that I have always been taught to do it and I've always done it. So yeah, do let me know. But what we'll do from here is we'll just build those few in and uh, go from there. You can change this three quarter and um, this queen closer and this header, swap them over. It's completely up to you, but as long as you get that bond in there, you're uh, you're laughing, really. You're you're golden. That header goes in there, nicely. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll put our queen closer on the end of this pier. It goes in there like so, and that again gives you that that three quarter bond or quarter bond or however you want to look at it. So I'll carry along the front with this. So the center of this brick wants to be over the center of the brick below because it's a header. And this is a stretcher going on top of it. And that will give you that bond nicely. And I like how it looks. Nice and symmetrical. Very nice. So from here, we're just gonna sort of run around the rest of this pier with that Flemish. So I will do that now. And there we go. That is how you do a Flemish pier. Now I'll bring you down to Google Street View again and show you how it looks. Right, okay, there we go. That's how the top looks. Obviously this funny little one in the middle should be a snapped header, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. Underneath that is where it's stitched in over those three quarters. Essentially that is just lifted up, spun around and plonked back down again. If you are building it without stitching it in, don't worry too much about the three quarters underneath. So from this way, those are those two headers that I was talking about. It doesn't, it all depends how you want your wall to look. You can move the pier this way along to, put, to give you more brick underneath and put a queen closer in the middle of here to make it look more like a corner or you could do it like this it's completely up to you it's sort of like I said it goes back to dry laying it to see how you like it and that is how that pier would look obviously sort of this you want to do again up here and keep going up and up and up until you've got to the desired height but with a Flemish bond pier the way it's built like this you can't really make it 
any smaller than that because of how it's bonded. So if you did want a smaller pier, then I would suggest doing a stretcher bond one on the end because it's quite a lump of a pier. It is, I think they look really nice. They are so strong, much the same as the English bond ones. They are so goddamn strong. So it all depends what you're going for. Okay guys, there we go. That is Flemish Bond, the quick crash course. You've got your corners, you've got your running in, and you've got that large, nice, strong pier. Like I said in the video, if there's anything you do differently in Flemish Bond, then please do let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I always do. With that being said, please do leave a like down below if you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Remember, bricks laid, wages paid, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care. See you later. ta -ra. Okay, and we're recording and sound is on. We are good to go. Do you know what? I will take my coat off because I'm not that cold. Well, let's change that exposure a fraction. No, nope, we don't want to change that one. Let's change that one. Oh, it's too fucking bright. That's why I want to go down a bit. I'll tell you what, I've done that fucking wrong, haven't I? I have done that wrong, or have I? Because that is fucking, that's more than a brick. Yeah, no, I've done that completely fucking wrong. No, let's start that again. Let us start that again. Now that's a little bit out. That is the bottom, oh crikey. Okay, so essentially all we're gonna do with this, now let's get a bit of muck on my trowel first before I start wobbling on. I'll tell you what, that one was a fucking pain in the ass. There's an ambulance going past right now, or a police. I don't know if you can hear that on this microphone. It would be very interesting to know. I guess I'm talking to myself, because I'll probably cut that out. Just in case I decide I want to make a thumbnail a bit different than the other one. Like I said in the video, if there's anything you fuck, please do let me know down in the comments. I'd be, I'd be loving to hear from you. No, let's, I'd be loving to hear from you, that's a bit odd. Remember, bricks laid, wages paid. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care. See you later. It's all right. Cool. I'll do that with a hair in my mouth. Tickling my pickle, that was.